Hello everyone, my name is Ajay. So here in this video I am going to explain about how you can consume a WCF flash service. So this is a continuation of my previous videos. So I prefer you to watch my previous videos before watching this video. And also I want uh, assume that you, I mean uh, before watching this video you have to know the basics of jQuery at least. So as I am consuming the WC, um, as I am using jQuery for consuming this WCF flash based services. So let's start. I mean, this is the service as I was showing in the last video. So this is the RESTful service. Okay. So let me run it. Actually, I want to consume get persons. I mean, I want initially I want to consume get persons using AJAX or uh, jQuery. So let me run this and let me check whether everything is working or not. So for get persons, URI is get per. So service one dot SVC. Okay, get for the URI. So just I'm testing whether it's working or so if you see it is working fine. So I got the data in the form of JSON objects. So if you see my table data, it's like this, and I got the data to uh, in the form of JSON objects. So the only thing that I have to do is to consume it uh, in a proper way and to display in the UI. So for that I'm using, uh, I, I'm directly consuming it uh, in the client side, like in the HTML page by using jQuery. So, so for now, I want to open a new Visual, uh, Visual Studio and I want to create a new project. And I want to just select the website actually, new website. SP.NET empty website. As because I uh, just want to have a simple empty website right i just want to have a html page for consuming this i don't need to have any other application or like uh, which is developed in a c sharp or any other python or anything i can directly consume it uh, in the client side i mean client side languages by like 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 the uh, like directly into the html page so naming it as consuming Assuming WCF first, okay. So first I want to add a simple HTML page to this project. So for the add new item and I want to add a simple HTML page, that's it. Okay. Okay. So here is my HTML page. So as I'm using jQuery, I need to add a jQuery package to this project. So for that, uh, right click on the project and go for manage nugget packages. And from there, you can install jQuery into the project. And we need jQuery, right? So that's the reason. Okay. I'm installing into that. Okay, it was installed successfully and I got all the jQuery files, JavaScript files related to jQuery in the script folder. So actually this is the minified version and this is the normal version. The only difference between the minified version and the normal version is that in the minified version, uh, there are no spaces. I mean, just they decrease the size of size for the mini minified version. That's the only difference. So I just want to drag this to my HTML page okay and i want to start writing the script actually for consuming the service so as you know i'm assuming that you know uh, jquery basics so i'm just going on with that without explaining much about jquery so for anything we need to do document dot ready function so whatever 
code we have to write related to jQuery we have to write in between this uh, okay so so before this right now I'm getting the data I mean I want to display this data which I'm getting in the JSON form in a table format in the view in this HTML page I want to display the data in the view, uh, form of table so I want to create a table for that so table I'm giving the ID as TBL and border to one and I'm giving the heading I'm adding a new row just for the heading and if you see in this table I'm having three columns so I want to add three columns with the respective names of them so the first one is ID second one is name one is address okay so I'm done with the table so I just uh, let me check it let me check whether it's working fine or not <coughs> yeah it's working fine I mean the only thing now I have to do is that I have to consume the service I have to consume this service and I have to populate this data into this table this table so for that I can use I can consume the service using uh, jQuery Ajax control. So for that I added a jQuery into my project, and I need to start uh, coding for calling this uh, service. <coughs> so for that first, <coughs> for that I need to use Ajax. So before that I also want to have a button to that. Before that, uh, so before that, I also want to have a button. So, where when I press on this button, I need to populate the data to the table. So that's the reason I just want to have the button. So I'm naming it. Uh, I'm giving the ID as btn, and I'm setting the value as uh, get persons. Okay. So everything seems to be good. Okay, let let me run it again just to make it clear. So when I click on this button, I want to populate the uh, the service data to this table. When I click on this button, so I want to populate this service data to this uh, table. So for that, I, I want to use a JAX call. So on this button click, I want to do that operation. So for that, I'm selecting that button using jQuery. As you know, I'm as I'm I'm using. I'm, I'm selecting the button using ID, so I need to use hashtag in front of that dot click. So function so so on the on this button click I need to call the service right. So inside this I'll be writing the Ajax call. So it so, so it's like a JavaScript object so I need to fill all the required uh, keys for this Ajax control so the first one will be the URL so I need to paste the URL of my service so if you see this is my URL right so I need to paste that one over there okay and the next one is that I need to give the type so at present it's a get type right so if you go and see the service it's a get type get method type so get persons is get method so I'm using get get type okay and as the browser need to accept the data in the form of JSON so I need to use 
JSON format. I mean, just letting the browser to know uh, that uh, it have to accept the data in the form of JSON. So I need to use this in the header application slash JSON. Okay. And the next thing is that so everything is good. I mean, we are only getting the data from the service, so no need of uh, there are some other uh, uh, keys that I need to fill for a normal Ajax control, but for now I'm just getting the data. So these are enough, and then if everything is fine, there's a success success key also where I need to fill. So uh, for this success uh, key, I need to fill. I mean, what if, if the uh, if the request is success? I mean, if you get a response from the service, then what? actually uh, you, you do is that you need to do in this success so the actually gets in the form of function so it's a function and it's a result dot actually you can name it anything that you want the result data that I mean if you are getting any data from the service then it, all the data will be stored in this result data okay so that you are, from that result data you can populate to your view as according to your requirement so that's about that and okay so my thing is i mean my uh, I, I have to populate the data to this table right so for that i need to use a for each i mean there is a uh, there is each statement I mean using this I can populate into the table it is like a for each thing uh, for each kind of statement where you can iterate the data and you can populate to the table so that's the reason I'm using each so so if you see it is expecting the object collection and then after function callback I mean you'll get the uh, values like index in array and value of the item like key value pairs so for that the the object collection is result data for me right now and and uh, like key and value just i'm giving k and v okay this is the for each statement like that thing so if you see if you see this is my data right this is the data that i'll be getting uh, in the form of json right so if you see this is the this is one uh, this is one value and this is one value and this is one value like that so for each value i will be having a key for this json object like zero key one key uh, the key value of this is zero key value of this this object is one the key value of this object is Two like that. The keys, the keys are zero, one, two, and like that, and the values are these objects. Okay, so I need to use this value, right? So for each and every key, I need to just use the uh, value for getting the data. So that's the reason I, I just, I will be just using the value from the function. So like this value. So first, I will be storing that value in my variables like var id equal to v dot value. So v dot id. Okay. So var name is equal to v dot name. So this is, I mean, v dot id means in the in the object, the id for accessing this id, you need to use v dot id for accessing this name. You need to use v dot name for accessing this address. You need to use v dot address. Right. That's the reason I'm I'm just getting the data. I'm just populating to these variables. That's the only thing I'm doing. So it's name and it's address, right? So address equal to v dot address. Okay. So I'll be just storing uh, everything in these variables: id, name, and address. And I need to pop it to the table. So for that, I'm just appending the rows to the table. So for appending the table, I need to just uh, select the table uh, using the table 
ID and I want to update the row each time that it updates. So for that must have a row right tier and tier. Okay. So in that row I need to populate three col three columns T D and T D. So I need to have three columns, right? So I'm just giving three columns. So for this column, I need to populate the uh, ID value. So V dot ID, that is in ID. So I need to populate this in this column. So for that, I'm using this quotations and passing that in between that. Okay. And the, here in this column, I need to pass the name. So for that, I'm using name. Between plus symbols. And for this, I need to pass the address, right? So, just passing the address here. Okay. So, everything is done now. So, if you see. Okay, that's it. So, everything is done. And the last thing is that, if in case, if there is any error, if there is any error, then I need to, it gets into this uh, error block into this function so it's just like a e and i just want to alert it to the alert it as a message so just i'm saying as something went wrong okay that's it So everything is done so if you see i'm just calling the service using ajax control so where i'm giving the url where i'm mentioning the type as get uh, so i need to accept it in the form of json i'm using this in the header and this uh, if i if the result if the uh, if it is success i need to i will be getting the data in the result right and i'm just using for each like that for each statement i'm operating the data to the table and if there is some error i will be getting i will be alerting that something went wrong like that so let me save this and let me run and let let check whether the uh, whether I'm getting the required data. So let me run this. So before that, so I want to run it again. So before running this again, I just want to have a breakpoint in the WCF service. So just let just uh, to confirm whether this uh, that service is hitting this breakpoint or not that request is hitting this breakpoint or not just to confirm that i want to put a breakpoint at get persons okay so let me run this this html page again mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> so I'm, I'm clicking on get persons so here if you see my breakpoint was hit successfully so it says the it is successfully calling the service I mean, so everything is working fine over there. So let me run and check whether it is populating to the table or not. So it says something went wrong. So there is some error. Let's check what that error is. I'm pressing on F12 browser tools. So it says XML cannot load. No access control allow origin header is present on the request resource. This error is actually because so if you see if you see in my HTML page. The actual the actual URL is this one, but I'm I just I'm requesting uh, using I'm sending the request using this URL, right? So there is like a cross domain. I mean the actual URL is this one, but I'm sending the request using this this URL, right? So for that for accepting this cross domains, I need to add an extension to the Chrome. So the extension is just I need to add add an extension. So it will accept the cross domains also ju just for that so the extension name is hello hello or hello control and hello origin so this is that extension so you just need to add it to the chrome add extension so if you see this is the extension so make sure you enable this enable cross horizon resource sharing so make sure to enable that one okay so i want to run this again refresh it and i want to click on get person so it is hitting the breakpoint successfully 
So if you see I got the data populated successfully to the table. So it is simple I mean there is nothing much I've done just uh, was consuming I mean just I'm using the service URL for consuming the REST service. So usually for consuming any REST service you need to use the URL. So that's the reason I got the URL. I was using the URL in this and the type is get and I was I'm mentioning all the uh, fields. I'm just assigning all the fields that I want to that I need to assign and just I'm appending the each object to each table row and finally I got the output like this. So that's it about this uh, calling of Ajax. I mean that's it about this this video uh, where I was showing how you can call a, a service using jQuery Ajax control. So this is about the gate persons. In the next video I'll be explaining about how you can uh, consume the I mean how you can insert the persons. I mean how you can for this insert persons actually. So for this method I will be uh, calling it from the jQuery and I will show how you can post the data from the jQuery and so so on. So in the next video I will be explaining about the insert person. So thank you friends for watching my video. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.